Trust God for the rest and keep on holding God accountable to his word. Keep on holding him accountable to his word because one thing that God is not going to do, his word is not going to return void. Like literally. What is up you guys? We're in the kitchen per usual. Um, I might have started the vlog at some point today or I might not have. For those of y'all that are new here, and it's like, what are you talking about, girl? Girl, you gotta go run through all the episodes, child. <laughs> and come back to this episode, and then you'll know what we're talking about. But um, spiritual warfare be trying to come in and seep in any kind of way. And one of the things that God has graced me with um, while doing this YouTube and just being on this channel, and it just even feels weird, like, to even, like, speak those things that are not as though they are. Because when I say doing YouTube, that, like, basically is, like, me putting it out there, life and death in the tongue, right? That this will be something that I'm gonna be doing full time at some point. But one of the things that God has graced me to do is to be very transparent about certain things that I know he will get the glory out of. Even if it's very uncomfortable for me to show to you guys, as far as when we do Bible studies, prayer hours, you know, and um, the way the Spirit of God moves on those, zoom calls y'all cannot be explained except you be in the room amen and it was such a blessing for me like oh my gosh it was a blessing for me y'all um there's this beautiful beautiful woman of god in christ all of the women of god that was on there y'all are just simply chef's kids like y'all are really like them girls like for real for real like i pray for women of god like you to come across my channel that is led by the spirit that is you know truly just seeking God and also seeking communion because you are on this platform, you watch YouTube and there's so many plethora of things that you could be watching and you come across this little small town girl um, that is Southern country but loves Jesus Christ and you felt the spirit of God move on your behalf even in the midst of the videos or maybe you correlated with something and then it led you to want to be a part of the community which led you to want to be a part of the zoom calls and then you end up getting revelation in the midst of the zoom calls like that is just the perfection of Jesus Christ amen and to know that these women are not even in the same state as me but yet we're all being blessed like it's just amazing to me y'all the type of womanhood you can have when you're all seeking God you know what I mean it's one thing to you know have a bunch of influencers all hang out with one another and you guys all have things in common about the works that you guys are doing or that God has blessed you with and that's cool and there's nothing wrong with that but there is another thing it's different when all people that are seeking God's face women of God that are seeking God's face that came in there not to show off anything that they have done or anything that God has even done in their life because you're not after his hand because you desire his heart right and it's just to receive a pour from God himself is just nothing like it you know no one is showing off their accolades everyone is actually showing their scars there were so many women of god that was having full-on humility and confidence in their humility to show and be vulnerable before the throne of grace and i truly believe that's because of the fact that our heavenly father made his presence known in the place you know these women don't have to share their stories these women don't have to overcome by the word of their testimony but they are you know, so I just want to give my flowers to my, my sisters in Christ that hopped on that Zoom call on March 17th, the very first Zoom call that was public to all the public and not just the spending time with Jesus community um, in the application, but all the people that was on the Instagram post, all the people that was in the spending time with Jesus community on YouTube. I want to give a shout out to those women that actually showed up and genuinely was in the room, like, and received everything that God desired for you to receive. And yeah, girl, so what I am going to do now, you guys, I'm actually about to do a meal prep, my very first meal prep. I have not done a meal prep before. I'm not much of a cook, but by God's grace and mercy, we've been a chef boy RD this down. Y'all, so your girl just realized that 
I totally did not take out my food for it to thaw. So we're not going to be doing meal preps tonight. <laughs> Ooh, do I want to share that with y'all? Just know your good sis, your good sis. <laughs> your good sis has been invited. Um, and I can even get emotional now just because some of these things God has prepared me for. And it's just kind of crazy that it's a full circle moment now that I'm getting, um, you know, an invitation to even just be on a podcast. Your good sis is going to be on the podcast really, really soon um, with someone that you might know. And if you don't know her, um, she's a lovely soul. It's going to be an amazing conversation. I look forward to it. But I will show you guys some of the things I purchased from the store. It's 429. I gotta clock in. One of these days, real soon, God willing, I will no longer be seeing. I have to clock in because I will be doing YouTube full time in the name of Jesus. Oh, child. Oh, my God. It's 429. Okay. I have to clock in. How many? Is it a slow day? Let me see. Uh, it was a slow day yesterday. It's a slow day again today. 430, okay. Start shift. One thing about it, two things for sure, baby. Ash gonna put these glasses on, okay? Y'all better get y'all some blue light. Y'all better get y'all, look, look at these glasses. How cute are these? Y'all don't mind the background. Look at these glasses. How cute are these? Y'all better get y'all some blue light glasses and stop playing. Girl, listen up. You better get you some blue light glasses, but you only get one set of eyes on this earth. One set of eyes. Just Okay. 
but um but yeah y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video i'm really gonna try to like i'm gonna try to edit this this video so that goes good <laughs> enjoy editing that's something i definitely enjoy doing i enjoy editing is it a long process it can be a long process depending on how much footage you have but i thoroughly enjoy editing so please like the video y'all comment and subscribe and when i say like the video know that i'm not just saying that to say like if you don't really like the video you don't have to obviously like the video but like liking the video helps it you know obviously push out into the algorithm amen so we definitely want people to also come across not only the channel just for the daily lifestyle that we have here, but also to receive whatever God has intended for him. There is a reason, child, why the name is called Spending Time with Jesus, honey. You're not just spending time with me, you're spending time with me and Jesus, okay? So, there's one thing about it, two things for sure. We're going to highlight heavy on the J-E-S-U-S -S around here, okay? Amen. But yeah, so ooh, this girl, look how ashy my hands is. Oh my goodness. It's giving baby powder. Whoa. Whoa. Back with y'all too close. Whoa. Yikes. This is why I keep note to the girls that also struggle with this and with this. This is why I keep y'all lotion underneath that cabinet, right on underneath that sink, baby. It's gonna be some lotion over there. So anytime you wash your hands in this house, if you're like, oh my gosh, my hands is dirty, my hands, I mean not my hands is dirty. If you're like, oh my gosh, my hands is ash, y'all look at this. Oh my gosh, let me zoom in. Look, do y'all see that ash? Ah, ah, oh my gosh, baby, it's certainly living up to my name, Ashley. Oh my goodness. I keep lotion over there and I'm actually gonna apply it right now. This is the end of vlog, girl. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out showing y'all the rest of the food and I will see you guys on the next episode of Spending Time with Jesus. We did a new thing today. If you don't know, um, now you know. And when I say we did a new thing, I've never done meal prepping before and it just really made me really live out that scripture of for I do a new thing in you, amen? So I'm super excited about that. Let me know what new thing you're doing, sis. We kinda on the tip of tab, if we're not mistaken, as well just because Tabitha Brown did come out with a, um, a, um, a book called a new thing and it's so funny because I just recently started purchasing her seasonings which was also a new thing of mine because I've never done that before either so I'm excited to see how the seasoning kind of goes and meshes with the vegetable with the spinach I'm excited for that and then I also put a little oil and I put a little zesty lemon in there too because I like I love lemon y'all big fan of lemon so let me know what new thing y'all did. If y'all have any recipes that y'all would like for me to try in the future for meal preps, definitely comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite recipe, okay? Let me know what your favorite recipe is. Y'all, I completely forgot that I told y'all I was gonna do a taste test. We thought we was in this video, girl. Sorry. Salt. Look at that. 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 Mmm. Mmm. What tab of the brand say? Very good, very good, very good. Okay. Y'all may have to bring joy to the soul, honey. You better go and get you something to eat. Okay. So the spinach is fine. The spinach is fine. I know I'm multitasking. I'm working at the same time, chat. I'm getting to my uh, sweet potatoes now. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I probably could have cooked my sweet potatoes a little bit more. I probably could have. Ain't gonna hold you to the... But they still good, though. They still good, though, y'all. Mmm. Okay. Next time, I'm cooking potatoes a little bit longer. Okay. Let's try the fish. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, let's try. Thank you, sweet food. Let me nurse about it. Father, please watch over this fish in the name of Jesus. Okay. I like the brown sugar part. It got a little fat to it. I ain't gonna hold you. Mmm. Y'all, I like the brown sugar. I 
am not mad at the, at the brown sugar. I like that brown sugar. Okay, let's get a bigger, let's get a bigger piece. This is so good. Mm. Okay, I gotta go here. I gotta get back to work. Oh. Uh. Mm. All right, so I can come down. Yeah. Okay. I gotta get back to work, y'all. But this was so good. I enjoyed it. Next time I gotta make sure that I really marinate my potatoes. We're taking a healthy route. But y'all, I know I'm like for my, I know I'm like for my sweet potatoes to be doubled in the butter and in the brown sugar. When I say doubled, I mean doubled. Honey, you know how people be saying doubled in the spirit, baby, doubled in the butter and the brown sugar. Honey, you don't hear me. Uh, yeah, so I'ma see y'all next time, girl, because I did to work, y'all. I don't need my people trying to come for me for nothing, okay? I love y'all so much. I just wanted to make sure I get this. I gave y'all the reaction because I completely forgot I was on the phone with my mama. My mama was like, is it good? I'm like, ah, yes. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot. I was going to tell them that let's, let's um, do a taste test together. And I completely forgot about y'all. I'm so sorry. Who child? Not me getting stuff on my white shirt. Oh Lord, oh Lord. It's time to go, okay. Bye y'all, I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, you don't hear me.
through Christ Jesus at 2.33 a.m. in the morning on March 22nd. God, you need to know this. Baby, these are light afflictions. I don't know who this is for, God. Only you do, Jesus. I don't know who this is assigned to, but your name is written all over it, honey. You was depressed today. You had a hard time at work. You had a hard time at school. You had a hard time in general. Maybe your life ain't going where you thought it was supposed to go, baby. But best believe your steps is ordered. The steps of the righteous is ordered, honey. He lights the path to your feet, baby. Look it up. It's in there. And his word don't return void in that scripture, honey. It don't return void. Woo, child. Baby, I'm on fire for the Lord. You don't hear me. You didn't come across this video for no coincidence. This one, a little flu lazy, just a little moment. You just clicked on it because you thought the little thumbnail was cute. No, honey. Even if that was the case, God just said, oh, yeah, I'm going to just use that as an attraction because she needs to hear this in her spirit. Child, it's enough of that going on. All this, you know, the, it's okay. It's the time and the place, y'all, for, for certain videos. But there are certain videos that your spirit man needed to be filled by the Holy Ghost that's on the other side of that screen. And one thing about it, Two things for sure. Over here on this side of the spectrum, over here on this side of the tube, baby, we gonna show tap into where the Holy Spirit needs you to receive. Honey, I'm like, God, okay. It was on my heart to pick up my camera. And y'all know me, I don't pick up this camera for no other reason but to glorify the Lord, honey. I might have a little moment where I show my little life and stuff like that, but my life in Christ is literally what this whole channel is about. And so if the Lord tell me to pick up this camera, it means he has you in mind, okay? It's so not about me. It's so not about me. It is so, so not about me. Oh, child. I'm just so grateful to God for the opportunity. And I'm so thankful to God that I even stayed up late today and worked on this 
that I'm working on. <laughs> I can't, y'all. It's deep, too. I'm so excited for it. It is going to bless so many people. I cannot really tell y'all what it is just yet because the Lord hasn't released me just yet to share it. But, oh, y'all, it's so deep. It's so deep. And when I say it's so deep, like, <sighs> there's no way that the Spirit of God is not going to manifest when you see what we're working on. There's just no way. The Spirit of God in you that dwells in you is automatically going to manifest to the things in which God is having me work on. Because um, it's one thing about it, two things for sure. I say this all the time, y'all. The Spirit of God is going to always recognize the Spirit of God. That's why you stop. That's why you're like, wait a minute, hold on now. Hold up. The Spirit of God is moving over here. Hold up. There's a reason, baby. There's a reason. It wasn't just, oh, I can correlate with this on a surface level. No, this was, I can correlate with this on a spiritual level. Listen. <laughs> Yeah, I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all the next time that the Lord calls me to pick up this camera. But, yeah, girl. I just had to let y'all see, like, what be going on at night time sometimes. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whenever this episode releases. Y'all, I did my nails. What y'all think? Look how cute. I did my nails, y'all. I'm proud of myself, okay? For those of y'all that's wondering, for those of y'all that's curious, this is Gel X. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. The only thing I'm not really too fond on is my thumbs. My thumbs are a little bit, they, they big, okay? The thumbs is like, ooh girl, it's giving teeth. But nevertheless, it's just for the podcast, y'all. It's for the plans, it's for the agenda of today. Ooh, let me back y'all up. We gotta hurry up though. So today we have been invited to go on one of my sister. She like a sister to me basically, y'all. We grew up together. We childhood, we was childhood sisters, child. You know that neighbor that ended up becoming like your sister because y'all grew up together, y'all in the same neighborhood. And then not to mention y'all had a best rapport. Baby, that just was us, okay? We had a time growing up. <laughs> So I'm going to be a part of her podcast today. I'm super excited to be on her podcast, y'all. Um, God is just doing so many amazing things in this woman of God's life. And to be her first guest on her podcast is just a huge, huge blessing. Um, I'm praying that we continually have opportunities like this. And I'm just going to even speak that into existence because life and death is in the tongue. And also because the Bible says, speak those things that are not as though they are. But, um, but yeah, so definitely praying for more opportunities like that especially christian based podcasts as well and it don't even have to be you know just particularly all about like you know this particular niche it could also be like any type of genre of a podcast but definitely no if you invite me to be on your podcast that we sure gonna let the light of god shine okay today is march the 25th at 12 46 p.m and i did my nails this past weekend and i did my toes uh did we not do that did we not do that? I gotta put a little cuticle oil on them. But did we not do that? I think we did a pretty good job on the toes, child. I think the toes is giving. I'm about to do my makeup. Um, I also received my order, because I did order an outfit, you guys, from Fashion Nova. This is not sponsored as of yet. Okay, we're gonna speak those things that are not as though they are. Fashion Nova outfit. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, I'm probably gonna let y'all see it after I get done. I did get these cute little, it's M101. So for anyone that does want to purchase this, it is M101 Miss Lashes. And then I like to use lip liner when I put on my lip gloss, y'all. So I did buy some of this, like, I bought some of this Ruby Kisses lip liner in the shade. It says C-A-P-U, which is stand for cappuccino. It's currently 12.52, it's already one o'clock. And I really wanna kind of stop by this 9.99 cent shoe store, y'all, because your girl needs some more heels. The last heels I had, they lasted me three years from that store. And one day when I went to a Bible study <laughs> at the Potter's House Chow, when Sarah was doing a Hey You um, Bible study night, by the way, love those. When she was doing a Hey You Bible study night, child, why my strap broke? The strap broke. Y'all, literally the strap broke. Oh my God. And I'm not talking about, I ain't talking about the strap this. I'm not talking about the strap that's right here. 
I'm talking about the strap. Look, look at me. <laughs> I'm talking about the strap that's right here, y'all. That strap. The strap that goes over your feet, that broke. I was like, oh my gosh. I literally, I had to finesse the game that night. I think I had like a, I had a scrunchie on y'all and I literally had to put my scrunchie mm -hmm. over my foot. Like I put, I'm trying to explain this. So I had my feet and I put the scrunchie in my foot. I put the scrunchie in my feet. Not in my feet, it's hard to explain. But <laughs> it's hard to explain, child. The girls, they get it, get it, baby. We basically finished the game. We put the scrunchie over um, our feet, our foot in that way and also over the shoe, the sole of the shoe, so that way you can keep everything together so that way I can get my behind back to the car when it was time to leave at the end of the night. Oh, all right, give me shit. Okay, I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, you guys, makeup is done. We finished, let me give y'all a little close up. We finished our makeup. I kind of did like a little natural beat, nothing too major, um, just because I didn't want it to be like, you know, doing too much. Um, that's a little close up on the beat. And yeah, I still gotta put a little setting powder on y'all. And then I need to kind of like blend in that top lighter up there. So give me one second, I'll be right back and I'm gonna show y'all the difference. This is my little outfit that I was wearing for today. This is so comfy, so cozy. I think I purchased this, y'all. If anyone is curious, I wanna say I bought this outfit from Image, yeah, I bought this outfit from Image, I think, or it might be Forever 21, but I love the color. Let me zoom it in a little bit so that way y'all can see. I love the color on this. It's just so, it's like that oatmeal color. So just for anyone that's curious, I'll link that down in the description box. That's what I have on currently, but I'm about to actually change into my outfit now that we're gonna be wearing for today. And I gotta hurry up because we have to be there by four. It's 3.43 that it says the time frame that I'm gonna get there. And I don't want to go past that time frame. I really wanna make sure that I stay within that time that time frame. But I'm trying to figure out, y'all, do I wanna do my hair like to the side like this, you know, and keep it to the side like this, or like, you know, something like that. What y'all think? Um, do we like it to the side like that? Or we can flip it over this way to this side. I'm kind of a fan of this side. I don't know what it is about this side, but something it just it does something to me on this side. And we have our baby here is laid. So I don't know, y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think. But I kind of like it like this. I think this is kind of cute. I think this is yeah, I think this is giving. Oh, and can y'all tell the difference? Like what I was talking about earlier? Let me show you. Hold on. Lips is giving, but yeah, it's not as harsh as it was before. Before it was pretty harsh, but now it's not as harsh. It's like a blend, a natural like blend. But it's been a minute since I beat my face, child. So let me go change. I'll be right back and I'm gonna show y'all like a little quick fit of what we're wearing. And then after that, we're gonna head on over to the podcast. So one second. This is the fit. Tom, y'all gotta hurry up and have a micro course watch on. And yeah, makeup is going with the look. And once again, this outfit is from Fashion Nova. I kind of tied it up because I realized that they actually had it tied up. And so then my shoes that I'm gonna be rocking as far as like what we're wearing and comfortability today. But let's go, girl, because I cannot be late. All right, y'all, we are officially in the car, child. Ooh, baby, the, the face is sitting. Okay, the face is sitting. Now let's decide what earrings we're gonna rock, y'all. Um, I put both of them in here because I was like, I don't really know where we're rocking. Then my nail popped off, y'all. I'm like, oh my gosh. Thank goodness I have some um, glue. Okay, but what is it giving, y'all? What are we thinking? I think it's giving with the earring. And then I also have hoops. But I think this one is definitely giving with the fit more. So, let's see. But then I have these. This is like more chill kind of to me yeah this is more chill what are we thinking i don't know y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all would have done i'm curious let me know because this is uh, it's giving 
I don't know. What you think? I think the other ones. Maybe I'm just extra. But, yeah. All right, y'all. I'll see you in a minute. The ghetto. The ghetto, the ghetto. So, I'm going to pop this back on at the light. But, and I literally just glued it back on this morning, y'all. I can't even believe it came back off. I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's supposed to be gel eggs. Child. But then again, I did rush when I put on these nails. I was just trying to hurry up. So, I've heard different reviews about how certain people have said the nails do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they do last. But, at least on this finger, I'm begging a thick. I'm, I'm begging a diff. Okay, I'm begging a diff on this finger. Okay. Child, what time is it? I'm going to get there. What time does it say? I would still say 4 o'clock. Filming is supposed to start at four. I feel so bad. I'm like, oh my gosh. <sighs> That's why I be like, I gotta, I have to really like do a little bit more better with my time management because now that I'm like vlogging and stuff like that, it's like, girl, you gotta incorporate the fact that if you're trying to get content, like or vlog your life. Cause that's that takes time you know what i mean to grab the camera put the camera up set y'all up this is that and the third you know what i mean to capture these moments so i'm like oh girl it's not i don't even think i'm in focus i don't even know if i've been in focus this whole time it's a lot going on i'll probably just catch y'all later babe so i definitely 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 love these earrings better i think these earrings are so pretty oh it's so pretty outside um y'all can y'all can't really see but like i just think these earrings look so good with this fit oh yeah oh yeah and y'all definitely gonna see this fit again child right at church on sunday i want to say this outfit was regular like probably fifty dollars this outfit was regular like fifty dollars and i want to say i purchased it on sale for like 33 35 something like that so definitely take advantage of it because you know fashion over baby they gonna have them sales like fashion over gonna have them sales one thing about it two things for show sure, fashion over gonna have those sales i love the material this material is so chef's kiss i actually thought it might have been see-through and it's totally not that i just i love this fit it's so cute and even like being in the car is not doing it justice like I have to kind of get outside of the car to like really like thoroughly show you guys but the fit is it's doing what it needs to do it's giving it's giving i just need to <laughs> fix my nail and then we'll be good to go we're currently still good on time it says i'm gonna get there at four o'clock i'm praying to the lord jesus above that that time frame will continue so that way we can be there on time <laughs> okay but just if you watching this video thank you so much for just inviting me and I'm so sorry, girl, that I'm going to be there right spot on, on time. But your girl is in route, okay? Your girl is in route. We are good now, girl. We got our nails all the way together. Listen, when I say the things that women do, baby, you can't tell me. You can't tell me. Baby, God knew what he was doing, okay? When he created, I'm talking about a woman. A woman. Nevertheless. The job is done, honey. Okay, the nails is back intact. It's hard for y'all to see it now because we're going back into the sun, but the nails is back intact. Baby, the nails is back intact. Okay, I'm like, man, the things that women go through <laughs> to try to make sure that they're ready. Ooh, child. Baby, we one of a kind, okay? God knew what he was doing when he created a woman. God knew he was doing when he created anything. But when God created woman, chef's kiss. Hey y'all, we made it. <laughs> we made it. Oh, I, I hope I'm going in the right way. I really hope I'm going in the right way. Yes. <laughs> oh my god sis i'm vlogging do you mind if i vlog huh you is this gonna be on youtube 
Okay, because I'm, I'm doing like a, like, I was like, I don't know if just mine, if I do like a little bit of behind the scenes and put it in my vlog, that way I can put a link in the description box for them to get it. But you look so cute! Yeah. <laughs> you look baby. so I got all cute! Crawfish. Okay, shout, shout yourself out, you look so cute. Hold on, let me give a full detail back. I know we gotta hear you. I know we gotta hear you. No, no, we're good, we're good. Hey, Jen! Hi, it is Jessica. We're Baby, about to shoot our, no, my third episode of Unveiling Jess, so y'all stay tuned. Period. Got my sis here. Period. So, and really? you can access this on, what, Spotify? You what? can access this on Spotify. You're gonna be able to access this on YouTube. Okay. Their, uh channels and links will be coming soon. Period. Good vibe. I can't even see that. Oh my goodness. It is for free. I can't get over the fact that it's for free. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. I'm just so proud of you, Jay. Sis. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me go on. I'm so um. The cops was all behind me, and oh, no, I'm no. like, oh no. So I'm so proud of you, Jay. Sis. Why you look dang good. Dang good. Do I, Don't you look good? I, baby, I look. I'm really trying. <laughs> There are microphones um, it, well, closer to the other, like into the center, so that when you're turning to like talk to each oh, other. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you're not like you're not like looking away from it. I'm sorry. Are we good? Uh, give me a second. Can you guys tell me what you had for breakfast? Ooh. I had some oatmeal. Oh, child, I've been fasting, so I ain't had nothing. Oh, where are we looking? Uh, that's a, that is a camera. Okay, okay. that's a camera. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the third episode of Unveiling Jess. As you guys can see, I have my sister here today. Y'all ain't how so we even came to be, yes. how this relationship has survived almost how many years? Ooh, child, it's over a decade now. 20? Yeah. I we met say, each other when I was... I'm almost 30 now. And yeah. I'm 20, about to be 28. Oh my gosh, and y'all, baby, we done been through some things. We done been through some things. <laughs> I done went to bed before the save life now. <laughs> Listen up. Y'all, okay. I don't look like the bigger one, but this is the one right here. Like, I was the more, like, in the background. She was the one, like, ah, Woo. like, in your face. Extroverted. Not, yeah. She was the protector for sure. Yes. So. Because, I don't know. It was just, like, it, was, it just came natural. Like, the way in which I, when I love someone, like, I genuinely love Jess. Like, when I love someone, I want the best for her. I want God to continue to flourish in her life. It's imperative to have people around you that actually want to see you grow. I was able to be my true, authentic self with you. From day one. From day one. It's really, Kinder spirits. Yeah. That's the best way to put it. It's like yeah. we were just meeting for the first time, but we had already been connected in some other life. Yeah, literally, like, like literally. Yeah. We, I thought I was so <laughs> in love with that, with that boy that lived on the street. It was like, you, you know, too, though. Yeah, I did, I did. There, you know how, like, when you're younger, like, you always have, like, that little crush that someone that's on the street. And, baby, there was some, there was these two. Cameron, Corbin, and D'Angelo. Yes. That, the fact that I just put that name. <laughs> I was like, just, just, just. <laughs> Hey, man, I pray y'all doing well. <laughs> Between the ages, I would say 13 to 15, I always had a desperation to want to be all of who God called me to be. I always had that. But, but. the flesh was weak. You know what I mean? So it was like, okay. yeah. so for me, so it was just kind of like, I thought when I was younger, like, ooh, when I hit 20, I was like, I'm going to be this influencer, this content creator, because I knew I wanted to do YouTube as well. Right. So I was like, I, I'm going to do this, I want to do that. And I was like, I'm going to help so many women. But I was doing all of this in my own strength, thinking like, mm. oh, this is going to happen all through my strength. Mm. Like, oh, they're going to like you for your style. They're going to this, that, and the third. They're going to, you know, and it was just like, that was the surface level. Yeah. And that surface level is never going to be enough. Maybe that surface level. <laughs> it's just nice. Even in relationships. Woo! We got to touch on Where are we going? It's from the surface. Um, yeah, that was that. But God always knew that, baby. I was destined for so much more than yes. just what met the eye. And you know, the beautiful thing about it is, like, when God purposely put someone in your life, like I believe thoroughly that God placed me in your life as well. Facts. And when God puts someone in your life. They're not just seeing what's there. They're mm -hmm. seeing what's ahead. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember I used to, like, literally know, like, oh, God going to do a whole fresh new thing with you, sis. Like, mm. even when my when I started taking my relationship serious with God, 
And I think sometimes when you see people really taking their relationship serious, you can tell that they're taking their relationship sure. serious. Like, you'll see the fruits. Right. And I remember, sis, even, like, you know, after the accident, like, I just remember when I came over there one time, and I was like, God is going to change your life with this. Like, he's going to change your life. You was on the bed. You was chilling downstairs in the mm -hmm. office where you normally would be. Mm -hmm. And I just remember, like, I, I kept reiterating that. And it was like the spirit of God just kept having me let you know, like, baby, your life is never going to be the same. Like, yeah. literally, and not in a way, like, to be like, oh, obviously, it was what we see. But, like, right. it was like, no, like, just, like, what God had for you, it's going to blow your mind type stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I also knew, like, that through the trial, God was going to deepen your relationship with him like you've never seen before. These were things That's I already right knew. That's a word. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> literally. She has spoke into me before I had even got there. Yeah. I was Mentally. nowhere. Yeah. I'm not gonna even say I was nowhere near there, but my mind at that at that moment was shut off. Yeah, like it was so fresh, everything was so new. I was like a baby again, trying to learn mm. this new world that I had been thrusted into yeah. and didn't have a choice. Mm. You know, so it's Ooh, funny God. because I was talking to a a, a fellow um, friend that also shares the same. Um, physical status as myself mm -hmm. and she was like it almost feels like a death mm. but you but you're like something died. like you're having yeah. to grieve you're a death a life. of yourself yes yeah and when she said it it like took me back because i'm like oh my god that's such a like a horrible way to think about it, it but in the moment yeah but then when i sat back and i let it resonate and i started to kind of like see the dynamics of how I was doing certain things and handling the situation, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Because even though it happened or even though you had no control over the situation, mm -hmm. you still have control on how you navigate where where you go from there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so like it's crazy that even before I got into the accident, I got in a car accident for those that didn't know. Mm -hmm. Um paralyzed instantly, so on and so forth. But um even before the accident my mom was already in a space. I was I was at P V at this time. Mm. Had um you know, I had a group of friends, great friends, we're still friends to this day. But I was in that space where I was wanting more. Like, I was wanting to get closer to God. I was tired of always feeling like I had to do something or be somewhere or yeah. be lit or, you know yeah, what I'm saying, to, yeah. to, to have fun or be fulfilled in mm -hmm. this life. And I was just searching in so many different ways. And it was like the friend group that I had, they were great friends, but they weren't in that spiritual space of yearning what I was yearning. And, mm. it, and so, like, it kind of kept me... And I kept me just, like, right here on that surface that we yeah. were talking about and yeah. just very unfulfilled. So when God did this, he was creating a brand new thing and, and pretty much sitting me down to push me to focus more on the desires that I had already been praying to him. Oh, about. baby. I wasn't even able to see me in the same. Like, instantaneously? In, oh, no, no, no. In the process. Okay. In the process. Definitely not instantaneously. Yeah. Because <laughs> that first night... <laughs> But that Definitely first night, pains. oh yeah, that first night I was ups I was mad. At Can we talk about being Ooh, mad? At God? Oh, 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 let's oh. get into it. You go you, first. You, okay, okay. I'm like, either you or okay. me. Or no, y'all. When I tell y'all, I used to think that it was just so, like, not okay to even say that or even yeah. feel that. Mm. So I would like hold those desires in, and they would show and manifest in my actions yeah just because i'm not saying i'm mad i'm doing the exact opposite thing that you told me to do yeah because i feel like what's the point yeah like you're doing all these things that i have no control over that i don't even in the moment know how to overcome and you're making me hold your hand and come to you for everything and it's just like I'm by myself. I'm around people that are not even hearing or speaking or understanding the language that I'm, I'm mm. you know, reconstructing within my mind. And it's like sometimes I look at myself and I don't even know who I am. Like the things that I'm saying, the things that I'm thinking, the things that I'm feeling. 
It's like, who is this person? Yes, it's the person that I admire, yeah. but it's so unfamiliar to the things in which my body has been used to, my flesh. Mm. So I'm like, hmm, Ooh, girl, how do I intertwine the two? Who is the, like, am I her or am I her? Yeah. You know what I mean? So that I was mad. I was mad at God. I, some, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I still be like, Frustrated. I ain't gonna say mad mm-hmm. because I'm I've grown to a space where I understand. Yeah. And sometimes I think that when we don't understand something, we we kind of revert back to like the little kid in us, like rebellious or little. That, kid yeah. Like, like, you know what like, I mean? I'm like, a, like 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 how children like when they are not understanding why you, why they can't have something. Yeah. They kind of get upset and they get frustrated they get mad and they act out and they act out and they actually do the opposite of what you want them to do because of the fact that they don't get it and so they since they it. don't get it the reasoning is a hissy fit right you know what i mean because you don't see the bigger picture you don't see the bigger picture yeah because he sits high and we sit low yeah. so we just don't know what he knows and that just mm. i was mad that he flatlined my life mm. Oh, God, this is good. <laughs> and y'all, it's funny she says that because when I got into my accident in the night that I had to, you know, sleep in the hospital and I'm just in this cold, dark room, I was not mad. Mm. I wasn't even sad because mm. I had already knew. Mm. I had already knew, like. It, it was time. Like, where you were finna go... My God. Was finna... It was finna go off. Yeah. I had just got my car. Mm. I had finally reached that peak of where your parents can't really contr- can't like, sh- control Ooh. what you're doing. Ooh. Yeah. So, you got that doing. extra freedom. Yeah. I had a little side money from different little avenues. Yeah. Uh, you know, my little check I was getting from college. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was just living this lifestyle of no responsibility and just doing all the detrimental things that everybody else was doing. Yeah. But it was finna go times 10 for me. Mm. And I think he was just like, nah, it stops here. Yeah. Because you either going to be dead, you going to be pregnant. And not to say that that's, you know, the pregnancy is yeah. just a bad thing. Yeah. But for what he had called for me yeah. to do, mm-hmm. that, that wasn't my story. Mm. And he was just like, it's enough. Like, you don't have the power to stop by yourself. Yeah. You, you have the you desire. High, you high off of your own smoke. Right. You yeah. have the desire, but you're so entangled in this lifestyle. It's so fulfilling. Mm. It's so fleshly fun. Yes. That what's going to stop you other than me? Like, yeah. I realized like, that my whole caliber of like even the type of men that I'm interested in has switched. Changed. Switched. Dramatically. I was like, whoa. Because what used to be your type? Oh, child. <laughs> <laughs> We got no time. Right? No, we, we really don't. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. We got we got nine minutes. Right. Okay. What we gonna we gonna we gonna get into it? Yeah, come okay. on. We gonna get you into it. You gonna you gonna what's y'all? I ain't gonna lie. My type. Yeah, and it's so like cliche. Cause you know we all like bad boys. But I wanted a bad boy that knew God. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like that that was like protector. You know, cool or whatever. But could still come and pray with me. And it was like I was trying to change the people that I was attracting yeah. to, you know, kind of fit this new lifestyle that I was going into. And they was like, they was like, oh, okay, like they heard yeah. different things that I'll be saying, but they like, chop, I ain't chose that life. Yeah, I'm over here. You made me, when you met me, I was selling. <laughs> but then, oh. like, even the contradictory in it, like I want a bad boy. I want a street nigga. I want, I want a bad boy that know how to pray. <laughs> like, right. you know what I mean? But like, but I ain't never pray. But I ain't never. Pray. But but it's like you. But when he get with me. But yeah. He gon' like oh yeah. Cause my influence yeah. is just that, godly. That. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm over here trying to. I, I mean, we just doing all type of stuff, and then yeah. the one I want to pray. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> girl, <laughs> go make me some bread. And I'm not. This ain't no shade, baby, to anybody that's living there like that. Please no. Yeah. This ain't no shade, but it just. It's contradicting. It's like, so contradicting. You can't say you can't say you want the man in church, but then you want to do this passing out what's going on over there on the street. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, or the bad boy. Like, cause and then you you want him to treat you like a man of God, but then you know he treating you like this because of the title that you right. asked for. Exactly. And see, for me, my type was child. My type. I ain't gonna hold you. 
it first started out pretty boy. It started you, out, ooh, oh my I was a God. soccer boy. Oh my God. <laughs> Love her a pretty boy that was in them feelings. <laughs> Lord, I ain't going to say his name. Oh, please don't. Please I know. Don't. No, ma'am. I won't slip up on that one. <laughs> Thanks, long time. Um, but, but no, I I love- remember Valentine's Day. <laughs> The biggest thing. If y'all want to know what happened, y'all just have to stay for another episode. No, real, okay, yo, we have to get... invite me again. No, no, for again. sure. Okay. She, she'll be back. Then so I'll, this, we'll talk about, yeah, we'll we'll, talk about yeah. romance and stuff like that. We'll talk about, we'll say that for another that That's was, a whole another segment. segment. But I ain't going to hold you. He let it be known. He did. I mean, so he let it be known. I mean, like, this <laughs> was. Not great. Yeah. Little. Yup. But honestly, truth be told, he was doing stuff that men, even today, should be applying pressure on. Because when a man knows what he wants, he know what he wants. He know what it, he wants. It's not gonna be any confusion. No, clarity is gonna be so clear. Yeah, it was crisp, and he made that known, baby. It was overly. I ain't gonna hold you. What nobody in the school get? It could have been overbearing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it turned out overbearing, but, but unfortunately, unfortunately. Yeah, but. <laughs> just. <laughs> This was like, whoa, whoa. But and, I, and all the whole time, I'm like, oh, my nigga don't never do that. <laughs> God, dog. release me you know i've been it's been moments where god has even told me like to pray over my husband mm -hmm. I, so i know like that god is preparing him and if he ever see this video i just want to even shout him out now because baby i can't wait to be the queen in your life and you be the king in my life and we conquer together and do all things through christ and that's just that on that please know i'm gonna always nurture you and love you the way that god desires for me to do so and submit to you by submitting to the father first and that's just that on that Oh y'all. Okay. I almost forgot y'all in there. I literally had to run back in here to get it. But we finna try to take some photos. Baby, I cannot believe that I almost forgot this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jess. Yeah. Oh wow. Right? You need to get this camera. I do. How much was that camera? Um, it's now going for like seven hundred dollars. That's honestly not. Bad. It's not bad for a camera. It's not it's bad for not. a camera. And but it used it to be. Life. You do. It used to be. Oh yeah, you look real good. You ready? It used to be. Yeah. You guys, we are back at the house, baby. The fit it just gave. Do we eat the girls up? I'm gonna put a photo. Do we eat the girls up? She 
don't know if that's the right terminology. We're not gonna get old. You know you're getting old when you're trying to keep up with other people's terminology. Did we do our thing? <laughs> Did we do our thing? Just let me know. The photo's gonna be somewhere over here in this, in this area, right over here somewhere. So just let me know, like, do we do that or did we do that? Like Fashion Nova, y'all better hop on Fashion Nova, baby. Y'all better hop on Fashion Nova. Cause I tired of y'all, cause it's it's too it's kind of too big when it's just by itself. But that's cute too. Like that's that's cute too. Like I like it like that too. But yeah, so y'all definitely will end up seeing me wear this outfit again, my loves, to church. But the podcast was so good, you guys. It was just so good. I was just like, wow, God. I couldn't even believe like that my good sis let me be her guest on her podcast. I thought that was so sweet. And I'm so grateful and just really thankful for what God is doing. And I can't even believe y'all took pictures today. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that I took, that I actually took pictures. I'm like, I, like me? Because I'm more of a like a, post and go kind of gal you know i'm still that I, I still think i will always be a post and go kind of gal but just the mere fact that i was like actually taking photos it just definitely not only built it builds your it adds on to the confidence that you have in christ but like and why i say that is because like you're actually being able to see you in a different way like it's not just like oh quick little video here because if you look at my content all of it is just surrounding around whatever god gives me when he gives it to me i give it to y'all amen so it's not really too much me like doing self-care in myself <laughs> it's more so like pouring into you what he's poured into me um which is technically still kind of like a form of self-care but it's more so edifying the spirit if i mean edifying the body of christ but nevertheless, I was so grateful that I kind of hopped out of my comfort zone and jumped into um, something new. Oh, you know what, y'all? I tagged all details to this outfit on my Instagram. So if y'all want to see the details that's on the this outfit, where these earrings came from, all the rest of that, definitely head over to my Instagram. But um, I'm going to take off these clothes and I'm about to wipe off my makeup. Y'all, the makeup did a good job, did it not? Look how much it just lasted. If y'all want a makeup routine, let me know. And we'll do like a QA and a makeup, get ready with me type stuff, you know? Ooh, my eye. But the makeup really did good. Like, it's a little bit oily, but it still looks, y'all can't tell me, like, it's still, don't it look good, y'all? Comment down below. And the brows, honey, maybe the brows is doing what the brows need to do. The makeup did what it needed to do. Um, and it's so funny because I've been thinking about y'all getting a professional makeup artist to do my makeup when I'm going to do content or like take photos and stuff like that for, um, Instagram and stuff. So it's just so weird because like, <laughs> it's just crazy. Cause I literally just made it. I just, I released a vlog y'all this past weekend saying that I'm not an influencer and I still hold to that. But, um, but I am also not only just um i won't say when i say i'm not an influencer please no i'm not seeing like the influencer title that in itself just doesn't define what this is here that's basically what i'm saying and it and i know it can be like oh my gosh but you're doing these things like an influencer but it's more so y'all it's actually bigger than just like me taking a photo and doing stuff this is actually something that truth be told <laughs> makes me get out of my comfort zone <laughs> it really does like because it's almost like God is doing a new thing in me and showing me a version of myself that I didn't know like I really could tap into, if that makes sense. Like the grown woman version, I'm about to be 30 this year. So just really like helping me grow into that and evolve into that woman that he's always known I have been, whether it's with the makeup, the outfits, this, that, and a third, you know, without it, I'm still, you know, a child of God, but he's just showing me, me in a different lens so funny we own YouTube but he showed me me in a different lens than what I'm used to um because I can I can kind of be a homebody y'all okay I'm not gonna say kind of I can be a homebody as y'all see I don't I be on the vlogs a lot of time in my house and so I can kind of be a homebody and something that God is really just 
helping me to get outside the box on is um, doing things more, going out more, being more present in and I'm thankful too for opportunities like today, you know, like I was so grateful to God that I was able to take off today to get actually go spend time and do the podcast. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about the podcast. <laughs> when I say, when I say y'all, that's my sis. That is my sis, like period. <laughs> I love her. Okay, period. Um, I just love her. We really just had a time, child. Like, we brought it back to the days where we used to sit on the front porch, bring out a, a blanket, and just sit and talk and talk, watch the dead gun stars and the cars pass by in front of the house. Like, oh my gosh. But just being from 15 years old to being in the fifth grade, growing up together, that was just such a a moment and like you know I'm 29 she 28 and it's like you know we met I was in fifth grade she was younger than me so it was like wow like this is a real full circle moment and just to see her doing everything that she was speaking about almost two years ago telling me like face to face like I want to do a podcast this is that or third just seeing God's fruitfulness and seeing God's provision just really put things in perspective for me and I'm just so grateful to God for her and what God is gonna do in her life. I'm gonna say this again, I say this all the time, ladies. It is so imperative to make sure that you have people in your corner that root for what God is doing in you. If you have friends that do not root for what God is doing in you, I highly, 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 highly recommend getting either rid of them or asking the Holy Spirit to help you to let go and let God on that. Because you don't want anyone that's in your circle that is not rooting for the light of God in you. Like anyone. I remember when she used to tell me that she wanted the podcast to be, you know, obviously centered around certain things that help grow with Christ Jesus. And literally that's what she's doing, you know. So I kept giving my flowers to her today because I just really wanted to tell her like how proud I am of her being steadfast and then just to see how God opened up this opportunity like she kind of let me know how the opportunity came in the back end and to see God's faithfulness and to see how he just made the provisions like baby one thing about it and two things for sure if God tell you to do something he's going to provide financially he's going to provide with the people that you need he's going to provide with every cent every every amount of resources that you need he's going to provide it so you're not going to have to worry about how you're going to get there who's going to be there where they're going to be sitting if it's going to actually happen come to fruition God the numbers ain't numbering you're not going to have to worry about that because when God is calling you to do something he will always make sure that he orders your steps I'm telling you what I know I am living proof he will forever make sure that he orders your steps God is never going to take you somewhere that he hasn't already went ahead of you and that's just that on that period so Write the vision, make it make it plain, sis. Write the vision, make it plain. Once you write that vision and make it plain, trust God for the rest. And keep on holding God accountable to his word. Keep on holding him accountable to his word. Because one thing that God is not going to do, his word is not going to return void. Like, literally. And that's something that I need to even receive for myself. When it comes to your business plan, put some scriptures that is according to your business plan so that way when you read those scriptures back and that way when you meditate on those scriptures that you can actually be like god this is what your word says and because you're the one that planted this seed this business in my heart father your word says that greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world so your greatness god is going to have to come to fruition your greatness god is going to have to come to fruition it's going to have to come to the surface your greatness, Holy Spirit, is going to have to come to the surface in this business, in this book, in this ministry, in this um, in this influencing. Even if it's YouTube, even if you're doing YouTube, you're, 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 you're going to have to show up, Holy Spirit. You're going to have to show up, God, even if you're doing YouTube. Because the truth of the matter is, God brought me to YouTube, not me. God brought me to YouTube. He made, this wasn't even supposed to be this, y'all. This wasn't even supposed to be this. This camera, when we pur when I purchased this camera, this camera was not purchased for vlogging. It was not purchased for vlogging. This camera was purchased for a whole nother business venture. And that didn't come to fruition the way that I thought it would. And so God started, and so God started planting in me a whole new thing. And now this is this. So 
child when i say the steps of the righteous is ordered baby the steps of the righteous is ordered okay period yeah so i'm about to take this off i'm about to get myself together i probably will end up seeing y'all in the morning time because we're gonna go to the gym tomorrow and i am gonna take you guys with me to the gym um to go work out i don't think i'm probably gonna be wearing a no little cute set because honestly tomorrow i'm not playing no games like we finna really get to it y'all want to see what we're wearing tomorrow girl we finna get to it this is what we're wearing tomorrow do y'all see this this is what we're wearing tomorrow we're not playing any games about this gym we're gonna lose this weight and we're gonna look real fine okay we're gonna look real good because yes my husband ain't here yet but baby he's in route why how do i know he's in route because the spirit of god told me to start praying for him that's how i know he's in route god ain't gonna tell me to start praying for something unless it's about to come to fruition baby so we gotta make sure we write we gotta make sure we look good we gotta make sure we shut it down so that when he come he be like that gone back <laughs> let me stop but no for real for real i'm so i'm so serious though because baby oh the woman girl the woman of god y'all think i am now wait until that woman meet her husband it's gonna be a whole evolved version as it should as it should, you supposed to evolve when that man come into your life and when he cover you and when he cover you with prayer and when he show you that, baby, you don't have to open up that door. When he tell you, baby, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do that, baby, just relax. Baby, rest into your femininity. Best believe I'm a rest in mine. I'm a rest in mine. I look forward to it. I'm learning to submit to Jesus so I can also be a better steward to submit to my husband. Okay. And I know some people, when they hear that word submission, they act like they swallowing glass. But when you submit to the spirit of God first, it'll, he will teach you that these are certain things that you need to carry attributes in your marriage. I can't tell you how many things, y'all. Maybe we'll talk about it on the podcast. I cannot tell you how many gems the spirit of God has given me that is going to be applied in my marriage. Even gems that I've seen come to fruition in my relationship with my friends. Like, he literally would be like, no to self. That's supposed to go in the marriage category. Period. So, <sighs> this is what we're rocking tomorrow. This sauna suit. You can buy this sauna suit at any Walmart, y'all. You can buy this sauna suit at any Walmart. Any Walmart. And I promise you, it definitely works. You just need to make sure that you stay hydrated. Have your little Stanley cup, whatever you use. This is not Stanley. This is like a dupe for Stanley. For Stanley, I purchased this also from Walmart. So you need to make sure that you have your Walmart stuff. I mean, that you have your, uh, that you have plenty, plenty of water because you do not want to get dehydrated at all. You, we're not trying to see stars. Line down, take me a quick shower. And then I'm actually about to do some Bible study. Bring my laptop in my bedroom. That's the plan is to take my shower, let the boys out and do my bible study and then work on the project that god told me to work on so i will see you guys tomorrow in the morning on march 26th i'll see you then bye girl soon as i stop worrying worrying how the story is i let go and i let god let god have his way that's when things start happening i stop looking at back then i let go and i let god let god have his way let go let god